waste. Fighting a bunch of dumb animals. I'd rather be fighting mutants. Take that, Skeletor! And watch what else it can do. That's amazing. The scientists invented this suit. It not only gives me super strength, but super speed, too. Almost as strong as He-Man! Eternia to Primus, we're coming home! Another false alarm. Skeletor was testing to see if we'd respond. I'd bet on it. I'm tired of all this testing. I want some real action. Knowing Skeletor, I have a feeling you'll get your wish, and sooner than you think. What's the matter, Adam? Turn on the view screen, Master Severin. I think we have a problem. At 
Commodore Kappa was on the scene to bring you this amazing rescue earlier today. He said his name was He-Man Jr. He-Man Jr.? I'm sure this will be news to He-Man. There's something familiar about that strange suit. Let's pay a visit to the scientists. You put that many crystals into Kaz's Medi suit? It's a scientific rule. If some is good, then more is better. In this case, more is too much. We must stop Kaz before he finds himself in serious danger. Remember, strength means nothing without the wisdom to use it properly. Are you going to take the suit away? No, you need it to get well. But I will decrease its power. Kaz, your job is to help Drissy here in the Oasis. Leave the rescues to He-Man. He said his name was He-Man Jr. Hmm. This pint-sized hero interests me. As if one good guy isn't bad enough, it's getting so it's not safe for villains anymore. Sad but true, Flo. So, let's see if we can reduce their numbers to zero. What are you gonna do? Our He-Man Jr. likes to rescue children in distress, so let's provide one for him. <laughs> A distress signaler. Watch. Whoever finds this, please help. This will bring our He-Man Jr. on the double, or I don't know heroes. <laughs> not off in another rescue mission. Well, well. So you're He-Man Jr. I'm He-Kaz, and you better let me go. I recognize him. It's the Shepherd Brat from the Oasis. Brat, huh? I'll show you. That 
will be enough. Ow! My leg! Watch this. Sir, hero. Ooh, it's going just as I... As you planned. I'll make sure that He-Man finds out I have the boy. When he charges to the rescue, and he will, it'll be the last rescue attempt he'll ever make. Let's take the boy to Gorn City. This distress signal seems legitimate, but there's something suspicious. I fear you may be right. The planet Dectus was abandoned hundreds of Telks ago. Live from beautiful downtown Gorn City, it's the Skeletor Show! And here's our special guest, He-Can. Are you watching out there, He-Man? I have a feeling you are. <laughs> I believe it's time for He-Man. I agree. By the power of Eternia? I have the power! Zagatar, Tuscador, I need your help. We're on our way, He-Man. It's Skeletor. He-Man and the Galactic Guardians are on their way to rescue me. Of course they are. That's just the way I planned it. However, these invisible space mines will end your friend's rescue mission before it begins, and I'll be rid of He-Man forever! <laughs> Strange, there are no mutant dreadwings patrolling to Libria. This looks too easy. It's about time we had something easy. I don't like it. Way of the magic, show me the way. An invisible minefield. Thanks, E Man. We see the mines. Follow the beam's path. It's pointing to Gorn City. We'll land there. is useless. I'm warning you, mutant. I may be little, but I'm tough. <laughs> I'm sure you are. He-Man! Off rescuing people again, Kaz. I know. I goofed. We'll talk about it later. Right now, we've got to get out of here. Sagittar and Tuscador are guarding the exit. Skeletor! Your friends are staying? Why don't you? Pack of crystals. But the force field! 
Didn't you hear Flog? I can't reach out, but you can reach in. Just place the crystals in my hand. Yeah. Hopefully these crystals will increase the power of my sword so I can break this force field. I think we've had enough heroics for one day, Kaz. I guess so. We took care of those mutants. For now. This is a terrific invention, Alcon, but this suit isn't for me. A wise decision, Kaz. I guess so. Even with the medisuit, I'm not ready to be a hero like he, man. Oh, Kaz, I'm so happy to hear you say that. On the other hand, I can still fight mutants and defend Primus. Kaz. Well, maybe in a few tilts. <laughs> Sebrian must have a zillion cases of computer files. That's why he's moving some of them to Honor for storage. Let me help you, man. Wait, Kaz. When you're picking up something heavy, never bend at the waist. You can hurt your back that way. Always bend at the knees. That way, your legs take the weight instead. Hey, that is easier. And safer. Now let's get to work. 